Oh, there's my dogs here coming to my rescue. All right, today I wanted to show you, before I start picking all these great vegetables, what's going on with my aquaponics tank. So what's happening here is on the bottom I have a 75 gallon, uh, what used to be a horse trough that's holding 14 tilapia fish. And the fish water is pumped up to the upper level where it comes into this gravel bed tank and the tank filters out a lot of the solid material and also provides oxygen for the fish tank below. So that was kind of the first piece that I bought. And then the second piece that I built was this, um, it's about 32 holes on the top of this plywood deck. So it's a four by six, what they call a float tray. And so it's being supported by a concrete block and a plywood pallet, and then this large 4x6 uh, plastic uh, tub that has a plywood uh, top on it, and then these um, net pots are suspended uh, over about a one inch air layer, and then water below that. So this again is the, the water that is um, has the uh, nitrogen from the um, what's well, converted from the microorganisms but basically it's uh, converting the uh, ammonia from the fish waste uh, into nitrogen that is uh, readily accessible for the plants so anyway I just want to show everybody that and what it's looking like we got crazy growth on here this is only three weeks old and it's like jungle already i harvested a couple of uh the manoa lettuce already which is a butter lettuce um got three uh tomato plants going off some chinese cabbage and a lot of green onion so um, i'm gonna start chowing down on this stuff pretty soon anyway that's that now i'm gonna walk over here and show you some other stuff at palumbo farm this is a start of my five gallon bucket garden so there's going to be a lot of um, more uh, vegetables uh, grown here. Squash, uh, eggplants, um, have peppers, and some other things in the back, strawberries and stuff like that. Because the, aquapo the aquaponics setup is really good for green leafy vegetables. The other stuff grows better, I think, in the dirt. But anyway, we'll see. I'll be back with updates. But look at that. That's Chinese cabbage right there. Manoa lettuce, green onion. We got a whole, basically a whole tray of different types of lettuces here and then uh, collard greens in the back. They just were planted so they're not doing the greatest right now, but they will. They'll do fine. And then the last leg of the Palumbo Farm Tour here is the worm composters. So right here, believe it or not, this is a dog doo-doo composter. There's about a month of dog doo-doo in here. And no, I'm not falling over. It doesn't stink. My office is right here. And this thing is right outside and it does not stink. It's truly amazing, but it's just loaded with worms in there. Over here is the garden vegetables uh, worm bin. So this is more uh, traditional type garbage stuff uh, in there. They They, need carbon also in their diet so that's why the newspaper's in there and also to help keep things wet too because it needs to be pretty mushy and wet and stuff but anyway <clears throat> the worms produce an incredible the castings of the worms produce an incredible uh, fertilizer so that's why they're all part of this whole system anyway i'll be back with more updates in the future aloha from hawaii